welcome everybody back to Chrono Reviews. So now I've got some a few figures on my birthday, and the first one out is Ryoko Asakura from Haruhi Susumiya. So here she is, everyone's favorite assassin that tries to kill Kion. Let's start off by telling you that the license sticker is here. And here's some other sticker. Let's check the box. Here's the usual picture. The different poses. And Figma. And the usual picture at the top. And here. And now, as you are used to this explanation and showing off the box, I'm not going to waste too much more time on the boxes. So just Let's open her up and talk more about her. Alright, here I am with the Ryoko Asakura Figma. Now I've checked it out a little bit and I must say the sculpture on this figure is very good. Now it was a little bit since I watched the series so I need to re-watch it but I can Remember, I really like this character a lot, even though it she didn't have uh, too much screen time. It's a good likeness, and the paint job are good. In articulation, you can turn her head, and the hair here are soft, so it won't stop movement. You could probably need for her hair here. Something similar to what was with the Shanna figure to easily get the Figma standing under it, but there was no, none of that with her. Torso is ball jointed, legs are ball jointed, knee joints, ball jointed feet, ball jointed arms. and fully posable hands and this figure have a very unlimited movement so I must say this is one of the best posable figures I have seen so far but I guess that's what makes this Haruhi Figmas so popular but this is my first one but I will probably get more of those to fulfill the the crew from the anime. So let's bring on the accessories which is of course the Figma bag. It's a must I'd say. And there's of course the Figma stand which you just attach like this and then you can put it into her back for better posing. There is extra hands for varied purposes. There is an extra face, which is happy and closed eyes. An extra hand for throwing a knife. And of course the knife that she tries to kill Kion with. Iconic. And there's also an extra head. I can't remember the name of this guy, however. It's nice to have an extra head for the Kion Figma. And I could probably put, put this on Shiro from Face Tonight as well to make him look like he's turning into Archer. That would be fun. Not too many accessories, but probably enough for what this character needs. And most importantly, I got the knife. So I can reenact her as an assassin. Which I think is the coolest side about her because I like the kinds of characters. I like displaying my figmas with weapons if available. So here it is. So now let's get her post up and to size compare her with other figmas. Alright, here I am with the post up Ryoko and it's a very basic pose with the knife pointing. 
I think I will need that borrow that off rider because I don't always need it for rider the uh, extra thing here for long hair. This figma was released before that was invented, so that's why this is, isn't included in this one, I guess. So I'll probably do that. It's a very, other than that, it's a very nice and possible figma. That's a great figure of the character as well. And the size of her is probably quite correct compared to Rin Tosaga. He's shorter, but she was also younger. So I guess it's a pretty good scaling. And I have seen on other pictures that it goes very well together with other Haruhi Figmas, so I don't have too much to to add to that. Other than I enjoy this Figma, it's a good figure, very good at posing, the joints works very well, and there's not much stopping the posability of this figure, except for the hair, but with one of those extra adds to the stand, it will be definitely no problem at all. So one last check at the detail. Oh, she's ready to go up to the shelf and kill someone. So see you next time. Sayonara.